What's up, NFL fans? We are in the heat of NFL free agency, and Tom Downey said, if we get enough likes on today's video, then we're going to go live. So all I got to say is go ahead and smash that like button. Good morning, it's Monday, and we got the top 30 NFL free agents still out there, ready and eager to be signed. If you're also a, still a free agent, then you definitely need to go ahead and consider Manscaped, today's show sponsor. If you go to manscaped.com, and if you use promo code chat, you're going to get 20% off and free shipping on the best male grooming products out there. My March Madness bracket is absolutely far Far from perfect, but if you want your downstairs, if you want to smell perfect, then go to manscaped.com slash chat. So the way that I have these things ranked is all the way from number 30 all the way down to number one. And with all the moves that have already happened this morning, I'm like, I got to get this video out before any of these players end up signing. At number 30, it's Antonio Brown, wide receiver for Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the guy that did the whole crazy thing going off the field. So here you go. Let us know down in the comments section. Raider Nation, don't let me down. Would you sign Antonio Brown? I want you to go ahead and type AB for yes or FAB for no. If every single person watches, you don't type FAB, well then F you. Let's go to number 29 on the list. It's Marcus Mariota, probably the second best free agent quarterback remaining after Mitchell Trubisky decided to go to the Pittsburgh Steelers. 28 is Jerry Hughes getting up there a little bit in age. I actually thought he had a halfway decent season considering the fact that the Buffalo Bills, even though they decided to let him go. At 27, veteran linebacker Donta Hightower. Curious to see where he ends up going. I know some teams around the league have been interested in the vet. 26 is J. Ron Kerr safety. Safety markets are always... A little bit difficult to be able to wrap our minds around. At number 25 is Bryce Callahan. Two seasons ago, Bryce Callahan was regarded as one of the top nickel corners out there and kind of got lost a little bit last season. At 24 in our top free agents, it's Jarvis Landry, who has been bouncing around from the Dolphins. Now he goes to the Browns. Curious if he can actually have a good season like OBJ did once you leave Cleveland once you leave Baker Mayfield. So go down to the comments section right now, guys, and let me know <clears throat> down in the comments. And we're actually going to make this the pin comment of today's show. Who is the best free agent left out there? At number 23, Justin Houston. I know he's getting up there in age, but this guy has been able to show me that edge rusher is still important. And a lot of these rankings are based on overall positional importance. At number 22, it's Akeem Hicks. And Akeem Hicks is another player <clears throat> over the age of 29, had a halfway decent season for Chicago last season. But if you're not looking to go out and bake, break the bank, some of these DTs are going at a halfway decent value. 27 is Trey Flowers. And, uh, what did I say? Oh, 21 numbers, not my strong suit. 21, Flowers got six years, $90 million in Detroit. Thought it was going to work out. An old Patriot guy goes over to play with Matt Patricia. Matt Patricia gets the boot, and now Trey Flowers is sitting there. Well... Yeah, sorry. Sorry it didn't work out. At 20, Derek Barnett, solid edge rusher for the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm curious to see where this young man ends up going for the simple fact of Philly had quite a bit of talent on the defensive line, which at times I really do think opened up a lot of things for Derek Barnett. So everyone watching, today's show sponsor is Mons Manscaped. You guys want to see something cool? You ready? Boom! Ultra premium collection from Manscaped. And you guys can go ahead and get set up with the best male grooming products out there. This is for your not-so-private parts. The reason why I love this collection is because usually it's $49.99. But with our deal, you can go ahead and get it for $39.99. The moment you walk in the shower until the moment you come out, you're going to be smelling great. You know the 15 seed, the Peacocks, St. Peter's? I want your Peter to be like an absolute saint, and it's going to absolutely be able to do that if you use Manscaped products. So even though your March Madness bracket is busted, I want you guys to be able to bust too. So use Manscaped products. Manscaped.com slash chat, 20% off and free shipping. At number 19, it's Leonard Fournette. And according to my uh, sources here, it looks like Fournette is visiting with the New England Patriots today. He could be quickly off this list. At number 18, it's Melvin Gordon, another running back. Arguably the top running back left out there still in the market, him and Fournette. It'll be curious to see how much Leonard gets because that could really impact Melvin. So I want you guys to go down. Let me know. Pick a running back. You're an NFL team. You're trying to figure out exactly who you're going with. 
Would you rather go with Leonard Fournette, type LF, or would you rather go Melvin Gordon, type MG? Dwayne Brown, next up on this list. This is another player who could be quickly signed. In fact, I know the Carolina Panthers are very interested, heavily pursuing him. They desperately need a left tackle. At 16, it's Melvin Ingram. Solid edge rusher was doing absolute work with the Chargers. Had an injury, then goes over to Pittsburgh. Then, or actually it was Chiefs then to Pittsburgh, and now he's a free agent and one of, still one of the better edge washers out there if you're looking to compete right away. Another offensive tackle here, Eric Fisher, and I, this is one, he was with the Kansas City Chiefs, really, really solid player, battled a few injuries, was really impressed by the way he was able to step in for Indianapolis last season. So between D Dwayne Brown and Eric Fisher, who's the better offensive tackle? If you believe it's Brown, go ahead and type DB. If you believe it's Eric Fisher, type F. Let's go to number 14 here, probably one of my favorite players out there. It's because he's just like my spirit animal. Rob Gronkowski, I see him going back to Tampa Bay to play with his old buddy Tom Brady. The top quarterback still available is Jameis Winston, and the fact that Deshaun Watson ended up going over to the Cleveland Browns in that trade, I see famous Jameis eating a lot of crab legs and some crawfish down in Nolens. At 12, it's Kyle Van Noy. Still super versatile linebacker, can play edge. It's really be able to, it's really hard to find a player who can not only come off the edge, cover the way that he does, and still stop the run. Van Noy is a very intriguing player, has always been a very intriguing player to me from top to bottom. And a team that I've been hoping goes out and make a move has been the Las Vegas Raiders. And actually, Ian Rappaport just put out there that the Raiders. They're having some guy, Micah Kaiser. He's going to come visit them today. He's in Las Vegas. So speaking of that, if you want more content around the NFL, if you want more Raiders content, you can actually join my locals community at RaidersReport.Locals.com. Chat Sports is also putting out a ton of NFL content with them as well. Please go check them out, Locals.com. If you want to see me make a total jerk of myself I ate the hottest chip in the world and it is on locals for supporters only so please go ahead check it out let me know what you have to think it's RaidersReport.Locals.com at number 11 here Anthony Barr and Barr has always been able to set that bar pretty high in terms of linebacking play he's been a solid dude up the middle for Minnesota for a very long time it's time now to get into the top 10 I love Calais Campbell get it 36 years old Getting up there in age, big old body. Is he going to be able to hang up or hang in there? He keeps on working out. If you're looking for a dude on a one- to two-year deal, I think Calais Campbell's a top defensive tackle still on the board. So if you want more NFL free agency videos, take a second. Take two seconds. Sometimes I know that's all it takes, right? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. If you can't find your notification bell, then ask your girlfriend. I'm sure she can find it. It's YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV for more NFL free agency videos. The top center out there, J.C. Treader, he was released by the Cleveland Browns, and this is kind of a move, you know, to go ahead and save some money. But if you're looking for a dude who can really establish that running game, similar to what Ryan Jensen had, I actually like J.C. Treader more than Jensen. Number eight, Julio Jones, and it's the first time he's ever been an NFL free agent. Kind of wild. If you want to see my free agency prediction video where I break down where I believe Julio Jones signs, that's on the channel from yesterday. Another reason to go subscribe. OBJ or no BJ, shout out to Manscaped. Is he going to be healthy week one? Torres ACL for the second time. For the second time which is really frustrating in the Super Bowl because I thought this guy was about to have an absolutely incredible game. I don't know if you can tell, but I bet on him to have over 60 yards, and, well, I was just short. So pick a wide receiver here, OBJ for Odell Beckham Jr., or go ahead and type JJ for Julio Jones. If you're just looking for any kind of J, well, then let me know and major shout-out to Manscaped. Jadeveon Clowney, there's another one. Number six on our list, coming off a season where he had 37 tackles, nine sacks, the number one overall pick in 2014 is still looking for a double-digit sack season. Zadarius Smith is going now, getting into our top five. Played in only one game last season for the Green Bay Packers due to a lot of injuries. But the two years before that, 12 and a half and 13 and a half sacks. Zadarius Smith is still a very good player. Actually signed with the Baltimore Ravens for a four-year, $35 million contract. Decided to be like, eh, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to head back out in a free agency. I'm going to keep on testing the waters. So the last two players that I talked about, both edge rushers, and edge is still, in a quarterback-driven league, 
Edge still might be the most important defensive position out there. So go ahead, type JC for Jadeveon Clowney or ZS for Zadarius Smith. Let's now go to the Honey Badger, Tyrone Matthew, and he can play free safety, strong safety, box safety. He's just this ultimate Swiss Army knife. Not 100% sure where he ends up going. The resources around him have been a little bit cloudy, but my money has always been on the Pittsburgh Steelers. At number three, it's Bobby Wagner, the 10-year pro, eight-time all-pro linebacker, 170 tackles last season. Linebacker's a easy position to be able to replace, but if you need a solid run stopper, if you need somebody who's still a top five player at his position, Bobby Wagner is that dude. Coming in here at number two is Stephon Gilmore. Gilmore's been linked to several different teams. He's the top cornerback out there on the market. I believe he gets somewhere 13, 14, 15 million dollars. And at number one, it's Teron Armstead. And I was hustling through this video because Teron Armstead is already down in Miami, set to visit with the Dolphins. If he ends up signing there, it makes a ton of sense considering the fact that the Dolphins need offensive tackle help in the most desperate way. So what do y'all think here? Who is the best free agent left out there? Is it the Honey Badger? Is it Teron Armstead? Is it OBJ? Let me know what y'all are thinking. And if anything goes down, major breaking news, the My Guy Tom Downey, he's going to be breaking it all down for you on NFL Daily Live.